turns on and off the system, um, which is the projector, and then there's uh, speakers either side, and there's an interactive function, um, which is operated by uh, these pens, which is just for annotating over um, drawings or notes or that sort of thing. Um, and also you can use it just as a, as a whiteboard. Um, so you can do away with all your whiteboard pens. Brilliant. Um, other than that, it's run out of the desktop PC at the front here. Uh, in addition, we've got a couple of cables down the bottom. Um, one for a local source with composite video and audio. Um, the yellow video and the red and white are the audio. And there's also an HDMI cable down here as well, if someone brings content on an HDMI cable. Um, so that all just sits down here on the desk. Um, it was crawled up nicely at one stage, I promise you. Um, other than that, the content's coming from the PC here. Um, so for starters, come to the keypad. The top left button is a standby or on button. Um, you hit that, and the projector warm up. You get a little beep. It takes a little while to warm up. Um, at, while it's warming up, you've got two microphones per room. You've got the lapel mic and the handheld microphone. You can use either or. Um, they'll both operate at the same time or independently. Um, and as soon as the system's turned on, they'll operate. So I can start talking through this, uh, just for sound reinforcement locally. Um, I won't. <laughs> um, and the lapel the same again. Um, so now this is warmed up. You can see it's just the Windows desktop from the PC over here. <laughs> Um, and other functions on the keypad I'll talk you through now as well. Uh, the top computer button, press that, it will go to the second VGA input, or back to the original one. Um, as I say, the VGA input is the computer input on the desk here. Uh, the next button down is the HDMI, sorry, is the USB display content. We've also got a USB input down the bottom. Uh, third button down is for the HDMI and the AV input. First press of it gets your HDMI. Uh, the second press takes you through to what's called the S video, and you need to press it again to go through to the video input down the bottom. Um, I'll take it back to HDMI, presumably the most commonly used. Uh, bearing in mind there is going to be a manual that goes out. We've given a. Yeah. Um, we, we did give it an <coughs> initial as part of the r and to Brosnan um, issue of this, um, but we'll do a revised as build as well, which you'll receive, and it will go through everything I'm talking today as well. Um, and I would sort of recommend doing a basic cut sheet of that version. Um, uh, if I go back to the top one again, as I say, that's the computer input, and you need to be on the computer input for the interactive function to work. Um, so now, Pick up your pen, um, and this is the interactive software. Uh, so as you come in, it recognizes it. You've got these arrows either si other side of the screen, so you can do it from either side with your left or right handed preference. Um, and then you can use it as a mouse. Oops. You can use it as a mouse. Where am I going? Yeah, yeah. 